Welcome back to Bjorn 3D's video overview of the Zotac Zbox HD-ID34BR-U all-in-one mini PC. In this video we are going to take a look at the multimedia performance of the Zotac Zbox and explain what we are testing and what the user can expect from this mini PC. First we are going to start off by testing the Zbox's main feature, the Blu-ray drive. We are going to go and insert the movie Inception and take a look at how long it takes for the Z-Box to load the movie. Then we're also going to check out how smoothly it runs. Looks like roughly around 30 seconds for inception to load to the menu. But once the movie is playing, it is as smooth as butter. No lags whatsoever. Peter? Said you were kidnapped together? Well, um, well not, not exactly. They, are, they already had him. They were torturing him. And he saw them torture him. We can also see that during action scenes, where bit rates tend to be much higher than on non-action scenes, the system can still easily run the 1080p video from the Blu-ray disc. Moving on, we have another test, which is not directly played from the Blu-ray player, but straight from the PC's hard drive. This test involves running transformers at 1080p resolution in the M2TS AVCHD format. This video is not high on bitrate because it runs at 4000 kilobits per second. However, the visual quality of the video is still fantastic. This is great for those ripping their movies onto their hard drives for a larger video playlist for their home theater PC. The video is played back on the K-Lite Mega Codec Pack and the Media Player Classic that comes with the codec pack. This player utilizes the onboard GPU to render the videos, which provides fantastic performance in videos. Next up, we have a TV show running from Hulu.com. The user may experience some lagging during video playback on Hulu.com. However, it is not Zbox's problem. I'm quoting an explanation straight from NVIDIA on what they had to say about the video playback on Hulu.com and their iron-based GPUs. This is a Flash 10.1 issue. Hulu has a number of overlays in its video content and because of this the CPU is responsible for the composition of the video. Then the content needs to be sent back to the system memory for final composition by the CPU overlaying additional content. This will be resolved in Flash 10.2 with stage video where all compositions is on the GPU but it is up to Hulu to make the switch. So for now we'll just need to have our hopes up that once Flash 10.2 is out that Hulu will make the switch as well so the Iron GPU could take over the processing from the processor. For current users with the Z-Box a solution to fix this problem is by changing the monitor resolution to 800 by 600 which will limit the user to full screen mode, but the videos will not lag on Hulu. I'd like to add that even though we do not show the performance of Netflix in these tests, Netflix uses Silverlight from Microsoft and it does not seem to have any problems playing back full length movies. Finally, let's move on to our final test. At first we'll try to play back music video at 1080p resolution through YouTube. And afterwards, we'll try multitasking and surf the internet while still playing the music video on the side of the monitor. We can see a slight lag when the player options are still visible during video playback. 
However, once the player goes full screen, and the only thing playing back is the video that the user is watching, the video playback is smooth once again. Now let's try surfing the internet while watching the music video. As we can see, the video playback is still smooth and the user can enjoy surfing the net or perhaps talk to their friends on their social networking sites. So overall, the performance of the Zotac ZBox HD-ID34BR-U is enough for an average HD PC user to enjoy watching their videos from Blu-ray discs or perhaps even from the internet. To find out more about the Zotac ZBox, please visit us at bjorn3d.com. Thanks for watching.